The Ukrainian armed forces are celebrating the 18th anniversary of their formation to mark the day high-ranking officers and staff of the Ministry of Defense laid wreath at the grave of the unknown soldier. But this young army is not on the par with the modern European counterpart. This is largely due to underfunding. The current defense budget is about $1 billion, which is lower than it used to be. And the biggest chunk of the budget is spent on maintenance, salaries, housing and running costs. The army is surviving. It is moving towards improvement. The orchestra, for example, is well funded. We have the instruments and the uniforms are updated every two years. New summer and winter uniforms are made. When it comes to military equipment, Ukrainian army is almost a generation behind the armies of the European Union and NATO members. Of the 400 aircrafts in the possession of the armed forces, only 72 are in operation. Around 3,000 tanks are gathering dust in bases and only 900 of them are combat ready. And most of the hardware in use is over 20 years old and its urgent need of repair or replacement. The defense budget of Ukraine is equal to that of Slovakia, whose army is one-seventh of Ukraine's. Money should be allocated wisely. For example, we currently have several strategic national projects in progress. Their funding should be on separate page in the budget. Then we will be able to finish this project in 2013. This is the only way that guarantees a good outcome. The fact that Ukraine does not have a Minister of Defense is not a smaller problem. The President of Ukraine has not nominated a candidate for this position for more than five months. The acting head of the ministry is the deputy. He talks of huge potential of the army. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, we received an army with 800,000 troops and with plenty of weapons. At the moment, the number of soldiers in army is 200,000, and this is large enough to protect Ukraine from potential enemy. But in the last nine months, nearly 2,000 contractors and another 300 officers have left the ranks of the Ukrainian army. According to Ukraine's president, by 2015 the Ukrainian army should completely switch to the contract form. The Ukrainian army carries a risk of becoming a crowd of people in camouflage without full-fledged training, appropriate equipment and weapons. Alexandra Molotkova, press.